No more newbie here in this video, I'm going to show you how to add green screen transitions on Share Factory like the one now, which is just a transition between two clips on your video. So you might use this to improve your Share Factory montages or your videos in general, but they are really effective and I do recommend using them as much as you would like to. So you may have seen it on my montage that, you, uh, that I uploaded a little while ago. If you haven't seen the montage yet, do check it out. It's not bad at all. And it's showing a green screen transition which is showing on the screen now. So that's the green screen transition that I used in that montage. Okay, so thanks very much to AstroClaps for suggesting the video and I hope this helps answer your question. So let's get into it. The first thing you do need to know is that you will be needing a PC or laptop and a memory stick in order to do this. So we go onto YouTube and type in green screen fire transitions or just transitions. There's loads of different options so you can just choose. I've just found this one. So what we need to do is go up to the top and just copy the address of the YouTube video just go into copy and then what we want to do is get that converted to an mp4 so use whichever systems you want i use 4k video downloader but i can't recommend it it's up to you what you want to use because there are some out there that do cause problems and viruses and that's so i can't recommend but this is the one i use so i just paste the link into there and i just choose which quality i want and then what we want to do is where it says which file we want to save it to we want to have a folder that's called share factory and within the share factory folder we want it to be a folder called video okay once we've got that then it will save the transition to that file okay and then once we've done that we can go into the file and just double check that it is sat there ready for us to use so when we're doing this with the pc we do need to have the memory stick in the laptop or the pc while we're doing this so that it's got somewhere to save to so there it is we're in the usb drive and then we go down to uh, share factory and to videos and there's our video sat there so the fire transition green screen okay so that's all sat there we can take the memory stick out of the pc and put it into the ps4 and then we want to go into share factory and then we want to go all the way to the bottom here where it says import content and then import videos and we go to import from usb okay and obviously we've got the usb into the ps4 so that's sat there ready and then we just find what we've downloaded which is this one here so we push the cross button and then we push square to import selected video okay once we've done that it will then import it and then we can go up to videos and we can go into the project that we're going to use so obviously it's a transition this is what we're going to use is transition between two clips so i've just got two clips here uh, that i selected and we're just going to show you how to add the green screen between these two clips so this is the ones we're using so we're going to go to roughly where we want it to go which is in between the two clips so we just find a position there we will be able to move it around later if we want to so it's not an issue so we push the cross button go to add track 2 and then push the cross button again add clip and then we choose now this is the transition we downloaded but some of the transitions come in a group of lots of them so i've got another one here that i'm going to show you how to break it up into more okay so this one i downloaded exactly the same way but you can see there's loads of different transitions and this is generally how they come so it's useful to know how to split them up okay so we're just going to choose one that we want to use and then we will just split it at the beginning and the end of the clip so try this is the one we're going to use here if we use the d-pad to go left all the way until the other one's about to start or sorry the other one before is about to finish and then just as it's finishing then we can push the square button and split the clip and the reason we're doing it that way is to give us more time to play with so if we wait to the one before finishes and split the clip and then delete the everything before and then we can press play once our animation finishes we keep on using the d-pad to the right until the new one's about to start or at least we've clicked it five or six times and then we can split it just to give us a bit of leeway so that we're not risking the other one starting or overlapping from the one that we've selected so we split the clip and then we delete the rest of it and we're left with a small clip here which is just a couple of seconds long okay and then what we want to do is move it so we can push the square button and go to move okay so this is quite a short clip so we might have to play about with it but if we just played it now you'll see it's in the top right hand corner so that's not how we want it so we need to push the square button go to edit track 2 and then we push the cross button and we go down to pip layout and then we want to make that full screen 
Then once we've done that, we can push the triangle and that gives us more options. We can push the square button and go to pan and zoom and we can just move that in and out if we wanted to zoom in or pan if we wanted to. We can push the cross button and go to green screen, which makes it the green screen effect. And that is really useful to do that. And that is pretty much the main thing to do there. Now, when you're playing it through, you may sometimes find that you need to go into settings and change the tolerances so that you're not seeing a green line around the animation. So you can play about with that how you want it. Once you're happy, you can push the circle button and come out of it and just press play and see what it looks like. So we can have a little look, see how that looks here. Um, you could change, obviously, the sound as well. Actually, we should do that as well. So uh, most of the transitions come with sound. Sound, you can either increase the volume or bring it all the way down to the bottom and not even have the sound so you've got the option to do whichever you prefer so totally up to you once you're happy with it then you can export it and that will allow us to add it to a montage nice and easy so what we want to do is push options and export to gallery and then that will render it and then we can share later and that will allow us to add it to a clip so imagine we're in our montage now and we wanted to add what we've just exported then we can just push cross and add clip and it's the most recent thing that we've just exported we push cross and square and then that adds that to what would be our montage and then you can blend it with other things so there you go that's the whole thing playing through there so nice and easy and i hope you found that useful if you have do like and subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already and do check out this video that is shown here or the playlist which has lots of different share factory ideas for you to use so thanks very much for watching and bye